Hello everyone, this is Magbo Gaming here, and today I'm gonna show you my entire PS1 collection. So I'm gonna start it chronologically from PS1, PS2, PS3, and PS4 in that order. So yeah. What's interesting about this PS1 collection is that almost half of my game collection from that console are in Japanese. I may tell a little hint on why that's the case but I'm gonna start off with the American release and start off with the JRPGs got Xeno Gears right here one of the rarest games on the PS1 yep I got them both here Xeno Gears you guys can see it that was before Xeno Saga as well by the way Final Fantasy 7 has the disc but apparently I don't think I have the manual for this unfortunately so I'm gonna have to hunt down for that at some points. I did have the manual before but not in this one unfortunately so. And surprise surprise Final Fantasy 9 that I bought brand new from Game World and you know why? So basically let me see if I can open this correctly because the end had a little fault right there. Yep you got the manual and all that stuff. It's pretty much new. The only problem is, is that it doesn't close properly. So I'm trying to fix that. Here it is, guys. Also got Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories right here. And this is only one disc. I don't know why it's like in this package, but it's just one disc. There is the manual right here as well. But there is nothing where you could put the disc. So I have no idea why they made it this way if it's only one disc right here. Just that one, so. Corona Cross as well. I got it from a convention a while back. Surprisingly, this is still pretty affordable, I must say. Because there's a lot of them out there and they kept being restocked for a long time as well. Fun fact is that some of these Final Fantasy games kept being restocked on Square's website until 2019, which is pretty crazy, I must say. Way after the PS1 died and all that stuff. And I'm gonna show you something interesting as well. Oh boy, I kinda like ripped this off. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Yeah, they had that little fault right there. So basically, as you can see, this is a copy of Final Fantasy IX. Back here is not really black disc like the original ones as far as I know. And as you can see with games like Chrono Cross, this has the black layer. So most likely this is probably one of the earlier copies before you know the PS2 was out and stuff. So yeah, I'll fix that later. <laughs> My bad. So let's go on to the other games that are not double disc and stuff. Got Bomberman World right here. I got Gubble from a clearance sale. I don't even know if this is good, so that's something I'm gonna try out soon. I got Marble Master right here. Yeah, another random game that I got off clearance, like for a dollar. So these two games I'm gonna try out to see if I like it. I haven't tried it yet. I got Saga Frontier as well. I think I got this for 40 bucks, so it was pretty affordable still at this time. It started it all pretty much. I also got Rayman from a flea market as well. Yep. Mega Man X4, disc only. Final Fantasy VIII, yeah, kind of out of order, I must say, because I already showed the other Final Fantasy games I have. But this is Final Fantasy VIII, disc only. Multiple disc only, actually. I think there's four of them in here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, one of them has the Blockbuster logo as well. Very nostalgic, isn't it? We got another one right here. And we got this one as well. So you get the idea. And then disc only Street Fighter Alpha as well. For some reason, I still got the X-Men Mutant Academy case. Without the manual, of course, just the little case on the back. Fino Fee was, yeah, it's kind of broken right now, unfortunately. I got it off a game store that doesn't take care of the games, but the game itself is pretty fun. So I picked it up for very cheap. Yes, as you could probably notice, a lot of the games on PS1 that I own are not in the best condition. This is especially pretty bad. As you can see, <laughs> I'm gonna show you. So my PS1 collection is not that great. And it's really hard to get games for these days. I can't even find them like almost anywhere these days. 
especially in good condition yep i remember a long time ago when i was in high school this manual has been soaking wet by some sort of flood and then i accidentally dropped it to the floor or something and now like it doesn't look too good at all i just recently found this game in game world and i may pick it up at some point just so i could get a condition upgrade and stuff and then we also got chess right here yep and Bomberman Party Edition. This is actually in pretty good shape actually. So at least. So the next ones we're going to show is the Japanese PlayStation games. So here's Linda right here. From a specific former friends that I have. I still haven't played it if you want to know. And let's see. Yep. Right here. And then it's part of like the best edition of PlayStation I guess. PlayStation the best. I guess that's their like greatest hits in Japan pretty much. So yeah, that's one of them. This is, I believe is, I'll put the name down. I can't think of it at the top of my mind. But definitely ends with 999, the, the Express 999 if I'm not mistaken. Yep. The manual is here. I believe there is two discs. Let me see if that's true. Yep, there's two discs in here. We got another Bomberman game that is Japanese exclusive. This is unfortunately tear down. So, yep. This is the tactical RPG of Bomberman. So, this is one of the ones I still haven't played, but eventually want to give that a shot, obviously. And Bomberman Land, the Japanese version. Might be able to open it. And yeah, this doesn't have a manual, so it's missing that still. Next one, let's just put it together. Variable Geo 1. There's the manual right here, and there's the game. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of my favorite fighting games out there. One of my most favorite classic fighting games. All female martial arts tournament, all of them are waitresses and stuff, and they have their own abilities and stuff too. It's pretty unique. And I also got the sequel as well. Unfortunately, this thing fell on the floor and it's kind of damaged, so I had to put this second game in here, but this is pretty much the best fighting game I have ever played that came straight from Japan. So this is far better than the first one. Whoops. Right here. And there's the front. Now I need a replacement for this by the way of some sort. So if you guys could hook me up on where I could buy them. Maybe eBay has like plain Japanese PlayStation discs that I could use. I'm definitely going to appreciate that a lot. So here it is. Hand in hand. And I love this game so much that I'm just gonna show off the manual. Just gonna flex the manual. You get the idea. Next game. This is So Edge. I remember I won this off an auction in Whatnot a while back. This is pretty much the Japanese version of Soul Calibur 1 that was exclusively to Japan until Soul Calibur 1 came to Dreamcast, which was only on Dreamcast in the States as far as I know. But you know, we got So Edge. It started it all pretty much. I think this actually, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but this came before the Soul Calibur game on the Dreamcast. Let me know for sure if that's the case because I just want to confirm that. And then we have another PlayStation the best, which is pretty much Raiden Project. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to open this right now, this is going to be a pain, but you get the idea. The Fireman 2. This is pretty much the firefighters trying to take out fire. This is like a two player co-op and stuff. Really, really good game. The prequel to this is on Super Nintendo, by the way. Here's another fighting game for you guys. I think this is Burning Fest Excellent 1000, I think. This is what it's called. Here it is, Burning Fest. Oh yeah, this is Asuka 120%. Yep, Asuka 120% is the true name of this game. And then we have a kind of like a platformer puzzle game in some ways. Yep. I heard this is pretty rare. I'm not sure how rare it is, but I got it pretty cheap in Game World like maybe a year or two ago. I also got Klonoa for the PS1 in Japanese as well. Amazing game, I must say. Enhander is another like horizontal shooter like Gradius and stuff. And yeah, there is no front case or manual. There is only the disc and the back cover. And last but not least, Nage Libre. 
Yep, one of Niagara Falls' favorite games out there. Nate Libre. Let me just open it up. It's in very good shape. One of the very few PS1 games that is in good shape. So yeah, here's the overview on the entire collection. I hope that you enjoy seeing the collection as well. It's pretty different compared to my other game collection. There's not a lot of like very good condition PS1 games and half of the collection are Japanese releases. And the reason why that's the case because I used to have a friend who collects these type of things that he hooks me up a lot on deals for these games and some of the games that I really want to have. We did some trades, probably sold some to me as well. I think it's mostly trades that we did. And plus Game World has a bunch of Japanese games so yeah. No I haven't recorded Game World for Magbo Gaming yet but you're gonna see it within the next few months. I've been holding off for a little bit because of some personal issues that I had last year. With, not with the store itself but some other stuff that kind of like prevented me from doing it. That's what I'm gonna say. So what do you guys think about this game collection here? If you enjoy seeing this game collection be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new to watching this video and you want to see more game collection videos from me. I have most of the Nintendo stuff already on my channel. You could look it up for yourself. Yes, as you probably noticed, I kept my glasses on today because I guess, you know, something new I wanted to add. A Kirby shirt as well. And yeah, click the bell as well if you want to keep in track of any new videos I upload in this channel on your device. So Magbo Gaming says, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Good luck with the hunt. I hope you find the games that you enjoy. Enjoy the games you have right now. And I'll see you all in the next time. MacBook Gaming out. Bye bye. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, here are some other videos I have I believe you enjoy as well. Get fired up and gaming to your heart's content. See you there.